Hello, welcome to the Frey video material where we will present how to mount the Frey SLI 200 digital imaging system on the Frey LED slit lamp SL100 with projection of the slit from above. Mounting the SLI 200 digital imaging system on the Frey LED slit lamp SL110 with projection of the slit from below is the same easy process. We have prepared a standard tabletop Frey LED SL100 slit lamp for mounting on ophthalmic tables. The SLI 200 digital imaging system components include one LED backlight, SLI 200 signal power cable, slit lamp joystick pad, and a metal plate which is used by the slit lamp sensor to recognize which eye is currently being examined. You will require a simple set of X-shaped screwdrivers to complete the installation. Next, we will demonstrate how individual components are easily mounted to the Frey LED SL100 slit lamp. Firstly, we will commence with the installation of the metal plate required to recognize which eye is currently being examined. It is important to place the metal plate on the left side when facing the Frey SL100 slit lamp. To install this metal plate, the Frey LED SL100 slit lamp must be removed from the tabletop. The pre-drilled holes metal plate will match the holes in the joystick pad. In the next two steps, we will install the background lighting module and power cable for the SL200 digital imaging system. The Frey LED SL100 slit lamp has been pre-assembled. Install the SLI 200 power cable in the slit lamp as demonstrated. This cable remains hidden behind the cover of the lower part of the lamp arm. The cover is attached with four screws, two at the top, and two at the bottom. In the lower part of the arm, there is a socket in which we plug the SLI 200 power cable in. Next, mount the background LED backlight. The last component to be installed is the SLI 200 digital imaging system. Please note that the optical channels on both sides of the device must stay uncovered before installation. If we do not do this, Unfortunately, we will not see anything. Mount the SLI 200 between the microscope head and the binocular eyepiece. Remove the binocular eyepiece. Connect the SLI 200 system power cable. The SLI 200 power cable should be inserted into the plug and then firmly fastened to ensure secure fitment. Mount the SLI 200 digital imaging system body to the microscope head and secure. Attach the binocular eyepiece and secure. Now you are ready to proceed. Turn the SLI 200 digital imaging system device on. Ensure that the power is on. Wait a few seconds for the software initialization and you are ready to work.